they must be stopped no matter the cost. Du, 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 du. Yeah, anyway, uh, this is a large oversight. I can't be bothered seeing it, I really can't. I thought it'd just be fun entry. Uh, entry? Intro? Whatever. This is a large oversize of the, was it Power Surge Optimus Prime from the Transformers Prime R.I.D. cartoony thing. It was a warrior class that was teeny tiny. Uh, but this is an oversized one that I believe I was sent by Sertoys. It was Sertoys or Belushius, but I think Belushius had the non-Power Surge one. It was the other one. This is the Power Surge from, Power, uh, from Sertoys, I think. I'm convincing myself, if not you. And um, to say it's oversized, it's somewhat big. Uh, let's just get good old Tanks Return Quake. It's probably at least leader class. It, it's quite a chunky boy. And it's all right. The, um, they, they've tried to put some red paint. Um, however, they put red paint over a deep blue. And it really doesn't work. They put no paint on this. So that's a that's a thing. No paint here. Tiny bit for the windows, a little bit for the uh, headlights and stuff like that, but none for the grill, and that doesn't hold together amazingly well. But I'm sure a bit of glue on the pegs or whatever, and that'd be fine. Um, S B S D, whatever that is, a little matrixy sparky thing, whatever. Uh, on the back, no headlights. There's never any headlight. Uh, sorry, brake lights. Never any brake lights or indicators. Disappointed. And uh, it's got the big swords on top, which are translucent. And the gun bit is hidden underneath. We'll get to that when we're ready. So that means if you want, you can always do my favourite mode, the flying lorry mode. Anyway. Why is it with me and terrible flying transformers today? Okay, never mind. That's that. If you want, you can take them off. And for argument's sake, we'll take them off for the transformation. You can take them off. This pegs both side. They go in there. They're quite big. Ow. Don't laugh at my pain. Um, I don't know why I decided to hit myself in the knuckle, but I did. Uh, so for transformation, you also need to take this out, which is something I always forget on the original. So we're going to make sure we take that out. And uh, that's nicely painted. Bit of gold inside. So you can imagine they're charging up to go pew! Just the once, because they're only little, but still. Okay, transformation. Yay! It's exactly the same as the original. We're going to pop this loose and this. Um... <laughs> These actually hold rather well. There you go. There's a, a substantial little bit of hookage there. That's quite chunky. It goes into that little gap and grips rather well. So I'll fold that over. Okay. Do this side. There we go. Bring it over into place. Rotate the waist. Might as well split the legs while we're here. And uh, you'll know on these ones. They're on the right side. Well, they are opposite ones. Because that one's got A written on it, and that one's got B written on it. So this is teaching children to to read and write Optimus Prime. B A B A. Wait. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's also written. Yeah, there, B. So that's B thigh for B leg. Okay. And that's A thigh. Not just one singular, but like the letter A. But A leg. Yay, everybody's learning today. <sighs> I'm going to say, what's that? They think if you like lose, if they like, if they just fall off, then you forget what bit they go into and you can see what it is. I think it's more for when they're in the factory uh, because these are built by people just getting paid pennies. So they're just mm -hmm. going to throw whatever bits together. But if they make sure the numbers are there, they can't put the wrong ones on. Mm. I think that's what it's for. I could be wrong. Maybe yours is a better idea. So we got the cab. We're going to split the whole cab all the way down the middle. Flip out the head. Just about clicks into place. Marvelous. Rotate the arm. 
untab the hand, which brings the whole grill section stuff around, just like the original. Bring it around, rotate the shoulder pad down. Splendid. Let's do it again. Do 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 do. Rotate hand. That point's ball joint's a little bit loose, but whatever. Shoulder. And there you have him basically as he was with the original. And it's a nice metallic blue paint there. I mean, uh, application's a little bit sloppy, but it's not the worst. There's a little bit of stain in here where some of this black paint might have gone. Or overspray if it was airbrushed, but it's nice enough. Nice enough little thing. I say little, it's not little at all. But let's add all the gear. So, we got this thing, which goes into the little gaps there. And grips onto this bit. Uh, something like that. If I'm pushing too hard, it's probably not right. There we go. So he's got his shoulder cannons, because, you know, why shouldn't he have shoulder cannons? He's got his rather pointy ears. Hmm, almost looks like a Batman. See his big pointy ears? Yeah, like uh, Brave and the Bold, something like that. Now you can bring the shoulder pads up, because uh, before they'd have gotten in the way, the big angly shoulder bits. And you can put these on the back, uh, which I will do in a bit, but for argument's sake, let's give him two swords. Because the hands are, ooh, slightly too big, but it's fine. Not a big deal. I have two swords. Because why not? Do you want big swords? No. Big swords are cool. <laughs> Take those off because they are a little bit loose for argument's sake. Yeah, a little bit loose. And we'll plug them back into there. And one thing I've always just noticed, I think, is there's a little bit of mold in there, almost like the sort of vents. So you can imagine this is like some kind of jet pack if you're so inclined. I'm going to put them there. And I, I bend them so that these look uh, more flush, like straight edged. Now you've got Optimus with wings. And he can fly. Wee Makes more sense than the lorry flying, but only barely. And again, that reminds me of, uh, what is it, like, Voltes V or something? Uh, which is the one, uh, Deimos? Something like that? Which is the one that just drives off a cliff as a lorry? Big white thing. Can't remember. They didn't go come over to the UK, so I'm only getting, like, third-hand knowledge. But he's fine. He's alright. You can fold the wings down the back without him getting in the way. Look quite nice together, like a cape. And let's try and get some kind of size comparison. So there he is. And there's Siege Mirage. So I don't know if that's the scale Optimus should be, but he's quite big. Yes. So, yeah, this is actually quite good. And one thing that you may have noticed, because I haven't had to complain about it through the entire thing, the plastic quality is fantastic. I wouldn't say it's necessarily official, but it's great. I haven't had to complain once about this plastic. I mean, that's a little bit wibbly, bit of floor polish, fine. These are a little bit loose, tiny bit of super glue, fine. I have no issues about the figure itself. You know, a little bit of tolerance, so what? But, very nice figure, very solid. Oh look, more letters! That one says A, and that one says B. Ah, oh, I wonder if there are any more letters anywhere. Let's have a look. I'm just have to say myself now. No, no. Anything on these? No. Inside the arms? Ah, oh, no. Nope, 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 nope. I haven't seen any more letters. There might be more. Maybe they're hiding. So, yes, that is my uh, little quick Sirtoys review. Uh, I'll try and find a link. If not, Sirtoys is usually very good and puts one in the link at the bottom. And my son's po hatching an egg on Pokemon Go. Should we find out what it is? The suspense is killing us. Come on. Come on. What is it? It's a Bulbasaur with a party hat. Because of course it is. Okay, I'm going to call it a day. So... I should be ugly, I should be wretched, I shall see all of you in the next one, where I think we've established that Kaka Kaka and Tuki Tuki don't work. Bye!